GCA, whose base of operations is in the United States of America, whose channel designation is a creator coalition and a pop culture news channel, whose channel was founded on March the 25th of 2024, which is a very clear and concise way of, of me describing their, uh, their channel. It's not easy to actually find their channel, folks, so I have to go to Twix Twitter slash X, then I find their their at, which is at the GCA crew on Twix. You should really check them out. Then I press the uh, YouTube link on their channel, and that's how I can find their channel. Because you type in GCA on on um, YouTube's end, you ain't gonna find their channel. All right, then, folks. This is the GCA at. The GCA podcast uh, link is in the description down below. It's one hell of a coalition, folks. I mean, you just check check out these links. You've got all the fine folks who are members of the GCA. You've got Multi Moldy. You've got Jessica Lindstrom, who's apparently a Scientologist, which is worrying if true. You've got the uh, miscreant Magda. You've got the rooftop Korean that will eat your dog or or your cat or ducks or something. Or is that Haitians? One of those. You've got Mo Zamboni. You've got... Uh, no, I can never pronounce... Nar... Nar... Na... Nagurdnal. I just call him his actual name, which is Sean Landrigan. It's easier to say, plus I knew it, because he changed it to his backwards name, which is crazy. Then you've got Hoodie, and then you've got Alec Baldwin's Trigger Finger. These are all members of the GCA, and they make a great team together. All right, then, folks. In regards to channel suppression... Not channel suppression. <laughs> In regards to channel description... Uh, the GCA described themselves as everything entertainment, nerd out, and kick up your feet, you glorious gaggle of geeks, which has inspired me to start a new show called Reality Based Geeks and Gagglers, or Gigglers. You never know. Wink, wink. I know. I know, Dempsey. But at least Landrigan is easier to say than whatever the fuck the first part of that sentence is. So, uh, in regards to the GCA's Twix's description, it's the same thing as their YouTube description, which is kind of derivative, you know, simply copy and paste. That's me saying that, considering I chop up shows to make into videos. It's like chopping up a cucumber to eat instead of eating it whole, like most snow bunnies would except their cucumbers are blacker. But the point is, folks, when you look at the channel growth of the GCA, it becomes quite clear that they have done very well, especially for a creator coalition. I mean, all these content creators hanging together, it's very difficult to achieve, especially because once a coalition channel grows and becomes big, the, the people who are a part of it usually try to destroy each other. That's why most of them fall. But not so with the GCA. I think they're going to hang well together, especially as part of the wider Geeks and Gamers Coalition. But uh, to give you all some channel growth statistics, in mid-May of 2024, the GCA had 194 subscribers. In late June of 2024, that went up to 517 subscribers, and at the end of last month, August of 2024, that went up to 552 subscribers. Just, uh, excuse me. It just goes to show that as the channel has developed, and I just received a Steam notification, Hypnotic is playing Black Myth Wukong, so Hypnotic is probably live right now. Go and give him a, a hi from me, if you can. But it just goes to show how much the GCA has developed, how it's grown, and how a solid community is built up 
around it. So go and check out the D the DCA. No, the GCA links are in the description down below. It's good to see Real Wade Nation Gaming Clips. I hope you're doing well, my good man. We're just penetrating the last rising star of today's show. Hopefully you will enjoy, whether it's live, on replay, or via the timestamp shows. So on that note, let me just remove this, zoom myself out, get rid of the tab behind the scenes, and uh, go into projections of where I think the GCA will go. I think by the end of this year, the GCA podcast will reach 600 subscribers. And by the end of next year, the big 1,000 subscribers, which for a podcasting channel is one hell of a great achievement. It's far easier to get to 1,000 subscribers as a content creator than it is as a live streamer. But since you've got so many talented people, I think the most talented being Alec Baldwin's uh, trigger finger, as I like to call him. Uh, he's also known as ABF. I think that great group of people will do very well together as part of the wider Geeks and Gamers coalition. So from my perspective, the future is bright for the GCA. Hopefully they don't destroy each other, like most creator coalitions do. So on that note, oh, we've got a lovely lady being nice to someone in the chat. Yes. Yes, you'd be amazed how many uh, male content creators like uh, like attractive women. Oh, yes, and lesbians, too. Yes, we don't really interact with many lesbians. I think my sheer bigotry scares them. But uh, uh, let it be known, all homosexuals are welcome on reality-based. Just no tranny demons. Moving on to being more wholesome now... And um, my assessment of the GCA. Alrighty then. A creator coalition off to a great start. Though, will it last? I believe so, as the GCA is a unique blend of content creation and live streaming. A solid crew inspired by the fine folks over at Geeks and Gamers, as well as the 199 banner, as talent recognizes talent. Let's hope this creator coalition holds strong and gains the recognition that it deserves. Now, there's a reason few, if any, creator coalitions go on to be rising stars, because they usually do not last long enough to boom, and those that do blow up from infighting and petty squabbles. For more information, check out The Fandom Menace and where it is today. Now, so far, the GCA have built a solid community, especially while live with their late and gay show. Now, whether it's actually gay is subject to debate, but uh, hopefully not. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but better safe than sorry, especially where STDs are concerned. Moving on to being more wholesome now, though from these humble beginnings of a ragtag bunch of up-and-coming content creators, I am sure that the GCA will blossom and inspire more passionate viewers to become fellow creators. And for that, the GCA is a reality-based rising star. Fire with the strong, stars with the flare, reality-based so shine, all 